Here's the situation. We got a guy named Stephen uh, Cowan. He's 67 years old. He's in a town uh, called Vermont, Wisconsin. It's actually 15 miles uh, west of uh, Madison, Wisconsin. And he gets home, and he's had a hard day. He's actually having some financial troubles. He's in a bad mood, and he had a couple of drinks, according to his wife. Uh, he goes to sit down and relax and watch Dancing with the Stars with his wife. And uh, Bristol Palin comes up. He gets so upset that they are intermingling politics with his beloved Dancing with the Stars. And he gets, he gets doubly upset because he thinks it's so obvious what a bad dancer she is. So he says something to the effect of the effing politics, takes out his gun, and shoots the TV. Okay. Oh, my God. Now, man, that must be some terrible dancing by Bristol Palin. And then, but like, look, the guy's, of course, got some issues. Uh, he might have bipolar disorder. He then points a gun at his wife and says, go get me more guns. And she thinks better of it and goes against the cops. And then the SWAT team has a stand down with him for a long time. And then finally he puts down the gun and everything's okay. But the fact that Bristol Palin's dancing is what pushed him over the edge amused me to no end. Yeah, I mean, I personally have gotten emotional several times watching Dancing with the Stars. You really get invested in the show, you know? You really begin to root for some of the people. You really start to uh, feel disappointed when the person you are invested in gets voted off. So I totally understand. I mean, if I had a gun, I would shoot at my TV. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. But listen, uh, you know, there's like people are really worked up about this season because Brandy apparently was the best dancer, according to a lot of people. But uh, Bristol beat her out, uh, the, and then she made it into the finals. And so, as you were just saying earlier, that's drums. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, now there's this conspiracy theory that the Palin's political people, or like, I guess her supporters, political supporters, are like phoning in so much that Bristol's winning. I, I, I doubt, I really doubt that's true. I have my own conspiracy theory that I don't really quite believe, but is fun. I think that the producers are saying, yeah, we get in the news every single week with something with Bristol Palin. She's doing an ad with the situation about abstinence. She's doing this. She's doing that. Is how modest is her dress. They got to keep her around for the ratings as long as possible. And that conspiracy theory is really not a bad one. No, I think your conspiracy theory is totally accurate. Bristol Palin, I mean, from what I've seen, is a disastrous dancer. She's horrible, okay? She's so bad. In fact, she's the only contestant in Dancing with the Stars history that has actually gained weight while on the show. How is that yeah. possible? How is that yeah, possible? Wait. No, wait a minute now. Look, I thought I was going to be the super bad guy if I brought up. I wasn't going to bring it up. But, like, we're having some chunk situation, right? No, okay, here's what happened, okay? Here's what was happening in the TYT newsroom, <laughs> all right? Uh, Tom sent me and JR an article about how uh, Bristol Palin allegedly gained some weight while on Dancing with the Stars. I didn't believe it, but then I looked up more articles, and yeah, she's gained 15 pounds. I mean, not only do these news reports say it, you can tell in the way she looks. She looks pretty big. And I'm not trying to, you know, say disparaging things about her and make her feel, t feel terrible because she's got a little chunky wonky going on. But it's the truth. I mean, you're supposed to train eight hours a day when you're on Dancing with the Stars. And you must eat a lot of food if you're training eight hours a day and you're still gaining weight. Okay, now let's go to an even worse conspiracy theory, okay? Because, look, man, training that for eight hours a day, people lose a lot of weight on that show. Aaron Andrews lost a ton of weight, etc. I mean... I don't think you can eat that many subs to still gain 15 pounds. 15 pounds in that short period of time while working eight hours a day. Yeah. Is it possible that she's pregnant again? With her dance partner? No, 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 no. <laughs> or the situation. Oh, that would be the best. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> now, that's the definition of drums. <laughs> okay. By the way, I, I want everybody, please, let's be super, okay, keep it real here. We're just playing bus nuts, okay? She ain't pregnant. We're just, so Bush was saying, speculation. It's not even real speculation. So Mama Grizzly, put down your paws. Because you know Sarah Palin watching this is like, ah, my dear. <laughs>